Hi guys, I'm Chuck, KK6USY. Welcome to Ham Radio Adventures. Today we're going to look at the TalkPod A36 Pro. Now, it comes in three colors. It comes in a black, a green, and this kind of super cool clear. You can see the innards of the uh, radio there. It's kind of cool. So there's a little close-up of it, maybe. All right, so let's go open the box and this is the box. Let's go open it up and see what the radio comes with. All right guys, let's just take a look at what's in the box. This is the box. It shows GMRS portable transceiver, VHF, UHF, FM, AM, airband, multibands. Designed for general mobile radio service operation. This compact package is big on performance. And then it shows GMRS portable on the side here. All right, so it's TalkPod 1-pack, uh, TalkPod A36 Plus Radio Ham Walkie Talkie, new model, um, 36P, M12B5UV3-T Crystal. And it has the F FCC ID on it. I I thought I was getting, this, this came as a GMRS radio, guys. So let me just show you what else is in the box. You get a... Uh, a programming cord. You get the charging stand. And this charging stand has the uh, cord built onto it. The radio goes in there. So you get that. It's not the way I charge it either. I actually go more with this. It comes with a charging cord, USB-C, and like a phone charger type deal. It comes with a uh, little grip to put on your hand or your wristlet or whatever you want to use it. I don't really use these, but uh, it comes with it. That's some people might. All right, you got your antenna. And man, let's see, let's see. The antenna says 136 through 174, 400 through 470. All right, we're going to talk about the antenna. There's a problem with that on certain things here. Because this radio came as a GMRS, but it had FRS on it also has the uh, belt clip. The belt clip just slides in, doesn't screw on or anything. Came with the instruction booklet. Uh, not the best I've seen. It's usable. I did notice that some of the stuff towards the end here didn't seem to really match what's in the radio. Maybe it's me, I don't know. Came with a battery. Now the battery, let's see. The battery says lithium ion battery with USB uh, 1500 mil. 1500 milliamp hours, 7.4 volts. It says 14.8 watt hours. It has a USB, you guys can see right there, USB C charging and with, with a little LED that uh, goes from red to green. So I, that's how I'm probably going to charge it most of the time. All right. And then we have the radio. Let's go ahead and just pull this off now. Everybody loves it when you they hate it when you put leave it on. Oh wow, that didn't work very well. I'm gonna, now I have to scratch it off there, guys. Oh, it looks really bad now. There we go. Here we go. All right, let's do this over. Now everybody loves this. So let's let's pull this bad boy off. Oh, look at that. Success at last. I kind of failed at that one for some reason. All right, I don't really like the way the battery latches in. You, you push it into the bottom down here, then it has these two. I guess putting it in is not bad. It doesn't seem like it latches that good, but it does latch. It seems tight in there. And then you pull these two down to pull it out. Eh, not my favorite battery latch, but hey, once you put it on, who cares? I probably won't take it off. Now I've already got it smudged up, guys. Let me clean that thing. All right, let me throw the antenna on it. We'll turn it on. I will say the receive on this is pretty good, guys. Let's just look at the screen here. Frequency mode. Uh, I don't know if you guys can even see the... I may have too much light in here. Let me turn some light away. It's a nice screen, guys. Okay. And this is on air bands right now. When it clicks like that, it's not going to uh, transmit, which it shouldn't. All right. Oh, and by the way, I want to thank the people from uh, TalkPod for sending this to me for review so I could bring it to you guys. 
I didn't want it on the air bands because it I this thing picks up the air bands really well. And one thing I'll tell you guys, I see a lot of people do air bands, but they never really tell you how to get it. If you live near a, a major airport, take in Google your airport frequencies, and that's how I found the frequencies. Just a little hint there. Um, I was having problems finding frequencies to listen to, but I, I will show those to you later. Now, I will say it's also, I had this set next to a another radio in, in this price range, maybe cheaper, and all of a sudden somebody came up on 520, uh, 146, 520, the calling chant frequency, and it didn't come up on the other radio, so I think the receive on this thing is pretty good, and we'll see that when we go through some of the FM stuff. I know on FM radio it's pretty good. Now, I did make a contact with the guy it was about 30 miles away. It, was, it wasn't a repeater. It was on, five, six, it was on uh, 520. The radio transmitter, he was going into a remote section on, a te on Mount Vaca. So it was still simplex, but he said the radio sounded really good. He says it sounded just fine. Uh, almost full quieting, not quite. Uh, I think he gave me like a... <laughs> of course, I didn't think I'd even hear anybody on there, guys, so I didn't record it. Sorry about that. All right, let's just go through the radio. Let's start on this side today. Typical of these type of radios. It's got the Kenwood connector. And like I said, I used a, it was from, I think it was from, um, see, I'm already picking something up there. And it shouldn't be. I mean, this is the worst way to put the antenna. Um, I just used a regular cord for like a ball finger or something and got into chirp, no problem. And I, I put in some stuff because I couldn't do any, HF stuff and there's a way to open this radio up uh, Google opening up the talk pod uh, a was it a 36 plus and it'll pop up for you guys and you guys can do whatever you want there I'll let you guys worry about that but it did work and I did put two two frequencies in I could put the calling signals and I'll show this to you there at the very back it wouldn't work okay so it was blocked it was GMRS only on the top you've got this uh, cool little listen up Hit the uh, push to talk button to get rid of it. There's no no flashlight on this one that I... If it's there, I don't know where it's at. I don't think it has one. It has um, your push to talk button over here on the side. These two buttons you can program along with this one up here also. If you go into the software. And you may have to do that in their software. I don't know. I, I'm not going to I'm not gonna change anything. The one I'm going to use this for is Airband. Because this is like the only radio I have that does Airband. So. Uh, the keypad... Uh, pretty much like everything else. Uh, we'll hit, this is your menu. menu. This is back. This is your A and B down here. If you long press this, channel mode. it goes to channel mode. If you long press it again, frequency mode. it goes back to frequency. So let's go to channel mode. Channel mode. Um, we're at 52. Now it shows GMRS on here. When I got this, this these would not they weren't transmitting and i don't know why um, i'm not real super familiar the reason i did open this up for ham radio is because that's what i'll use the most as not gmrs i have my gmrs license i don't use it a lot but um let's just go down 50, actually one, i want to go up 50, two, 50, so there's a two meter call and I actually put in two meter call that's kind of cool and then 50, and then there's a 70 centimeter call and those do work KK six USY testing, and then we just go in the menu, just menu. like it's just like every other radio. Um, let me turn the volume down so you don't have to hear that instead of changing it. So basically, you just you're up, you just go up. I mean, there was your your power, your low and high, and that's on one of these buttons. I'll show you in a minute. Um, it came programmed that way, and I can actually I kind of like that. It's easier. Fifty work fifty one. The instructions and details. I didn't really go in there. It, oh, it has. I did go in there. Let me just uh, click that. If you go to details, oh man, I thought I did. Oh yeah, there you go. Okay. So we'll go back out of there. Go back in the menu. So it has a, a CR code. It has a code, and there's your. Uh, this is firmware version one point two one. All right, let's, uh, let's press this and see what it does. That opens your squelch. Tap the uh, push to talk to get it out of there. Let's long press it. 
change if you guys look right there there's low power long press high power I kind of like that that's kind of cool um, that's what that one does okay short press on this one I think it's FM and press it again it goes off uh, tell you the truth guys for where I live that's really good um, and I didn't set it up as high as I probably, I mean, I, if, if I hook that into a, uh, my, my antenna that I did the airband on stuff, it'll work really good. And that seems to bring in the uh, squelch off. Oh man, I don't, I'm going to leave that one alone because I don't want to hear that again. So pretty much has a lock button down here. Hold it. Locked. And it locks. Hold it again. Unlocks. It unlocks it. I don't know if you guys could hear that or not. And then, it, just like the other ones, you go in the menu. menu. If you want to go to a menu, let's go to 33. It takes you there. Uh, we, we're John Yankee. Just came up, and uh, we'll fly three zero transition. Southwest 1295. Perfect. Uh, five zero. Yeah, perfect. Scott Southwest 1583. Passing 10,400. Descend by one zero two with X-ray. Zero transition. Southwest. 1583, like the, the uh, Arnav Zulu on request. You guys that might be interested, the antenna port is like a bow thing. All right, so I'm going to put this little adapter for my uh, power meter. Frequency, it's a frequency and power meter. And don't worry, guys, because I'm not running the radio. This has a dummy load built in, so I don't need the antenna port up here for this is for uh, checking uh, signal strength. All right, let's turn this thing on. All right, let's uh, let's go to one one forty six five twenty. Let me turn this on, and hopefully you guys can see that. I'm trying to keep the glare off. Okay, we're gonna hit this one forty six five twenty. I don't know if you guys can read it, but that's what it says. So that's good. We are on high power. This is handband, guys. 146.520 power. It was uh, four, almost 5 watts. 4.92 watts. All right, let's go to low power. And hopefully you guys can, I don't know if you guys can read it or not. I'll try to make it so you guys can. Um, less than a watt, but almost a watt there. All right, since we're not done, let's go ahead and check the FRS. This is low power. Channel 2, 4.4 watts. All right, so that's definitely too high. That's good. Oh, that was high power, excuse me. That was high power. All right, sorry, that my mistake. I was looking at the wrong, the wrong one. So low power. Is 1.48. I think I have it written down here. Let me look real quick. Oh, here it is. Channels 8 through 14.5 watts and 2 watts on channels 1 through 7 and 15 through 22. I'm pretty sure that's what I got. Half a watt on uh, 8 through 14. So that technically is legal on low power. But like I said, the antenna part's probably not. We're gonna we're on the bottom one. Let's go to 440. Let's go to the calling frequency. So, so we're on high power. All right. This is uh, the calling frequency for. Uh, well, let's actually let's go to. Um, okay, this is frequency. Let's see what the frequency says. Four four six zero zero zero. Good. That's good. Okay, we'll go to power. We're on high power. Four and a half watts. That's pretty good. I'll take that. Let's go to low power. I do like that button for that, guys, so I'm not going to change it. Uh, just under two watts, 1.97. So, yeah, that's not bad. All right, so power looks good. Okay, this is the audio from the TalkPod A36 Pro into the FT70. Testing one, two, three, four, four, three, two, one. KK6 USY testing. Okay, this is the audio coming out of the A36 Pro from TalkPod. Uh, testing one, two, three, four, 
4321. Testing complete, KK6 USY testing. All right, guys, that's a pretty cool radio. Um, this one came as a GMRS. <coughs> Got to keep the property safe. This one came as a GMRS. I did uh, change it to uh, ham radio. And if you go in and Google how to open this up, it'll come up. It'll come to their website. And there's multiple things you can do for setting it up. All right, Riley, that's good. Thank you. Now, the one thing I will say about this radio, it came as GMRS, but also I had FRS in it. As far as I know, you still can't take off the antenna on an FRS. If that's changed, leave something in the description for me, and I'll, uh, I'll, make a, I'll post that up saying that it, you can take it off now. But I don't think you can now. For GMRS, you can, but not for FRS. Also, it'll, it, will, it goes over the, I think it's a lot. At some, some points of the FRS, you can do two watts. Some, some you can do a half a watt, I think. And I did mention that someplace in this video. And it goes over that. You, I mean, you can be set for more than that. So, GMRS is good. FRS, I don't know, guys. It's, it's your decision what you guys want to do. Now, I will say that uh, the Smoking Ape and I think Josh from Ham Radio Crash Course both put this thing on a, a meter, checked it out, and it's not really clean, guys. And Josh actually mentioned you guys that are into prepping. You might not want to use this because you're putting out four different frequencies strong enough for somebody to find if you're trying to hide. I don't know. It's a thing, I guess. Uh, and then Ape showed that it's, it's really not a very clean radio. Now, this is a newer version than both of those guys tested. This is, I just got this one like a week ago. So maybe they cleaned it up. I don't know. I don't have, I don't have a way of testing that. So use at your own risk or how you want to use it guys it says fcc approved uh, maybe it changed maybe they fixed it but i do really like the clear coat the clear color now i will say that the fm radio on this thing i live i'm bordered by my mountains or hills not really mountains and fm does not come in very good but i'll show you right here if you listen to this i found a commercial on uh, one of the channels i really like and and it comes in really good i was impressed so let me let me show that to you right now we're all about getting you and your crew to quit in time sooner i was sitting in my shack which for an nht really usually isn't very good on 520 146 520 the calling frequency for two meter and all of a sudden i started hearing something on this thing and i had another radio on i was kind of looking at the two next to each other just to kind of compare a little bit and the other one didn't pick it up. So I came outside, made a contact with a guy. He, was, he wasn't on Vaca Mountain, but the radio was. It was a remote radio into Mount Vaca. And it's about 30 miles from my house, line, line of sight. And it came in pretty good. He gave me a good, good audio report on it. He said this, the audio sounded really good. So hopefully you guys got something out of the video. If you did, please hit the like. And if you're new here, hit that subscribe button. Hit the bell, hit all. That way you'll get all my future videos. I'm Chuck, KK6USY for Hammer Adventures. Thank you for joining me today. I know your time is valuable, guys. 73, and hope to get you guys on the airwaves.